Looks divine, doesn't it? Hey there, I'm Katie, you're awesome, and today in my kitchen I'm going to show you how we make divinity. Let's get into it. For this recipe, you will need two and a half cups of sugar, one half cup of water, one half cup of light corn syrup, one eighth teaspoon of salt, two room temperature egg whites, I separated them out ahead of time, one cup of chopped nuts, traditionally pecans, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You will also need two spoons and a cookie sheet lined with a silicon mat that you can set aside for now. Okay, let's get this started, shall we? We're gonna take our saucepan, put it on medium heat, and add our sugar, our water, our syrup. You know what, let me speed this up for you real quick. Oh, that's better. And your salt. Now you're gonna cook this stirring occasionally until the mixture starts to boil. And again, I'm gonna speed it up, but you'll get the idea. Do you see that? It's boiling. So now it's time to stop stirring, no more stirring. And we're gonna clip in our candy thermometer and we're gonna wait for 260 degrees Fahrenheit. This should take around eight to 10 minutes. With candy making, the temperature is really important. So I'm just gonna say it again, 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna multitask. Yes, it's time while that's heating up to beat our egg whites to stiff peaks. We are gonna stick them in the KitchenAid and set that bad boy on high. And you can see here the egg whites are getting a little whiter and coming up the side of the bowl and the sugar is boiling. I may have started the putting the thermometer in a little early, but that's just fine. It's gonna taste amazing. And you're gonna beat until stiff peaks form, just like that one. Looks like we got our sugar boiling. Oh, that sounds so nice. Here, just a second. So we still need to get our sugar up to the 260 degrees Fahrenheit, even though it's at a rolling boil. It's not quite there yet. When it is, we are going to stream it into the egg whites. We gotta mix it in while mixing on as high a speed as is safe. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and I will see you in that time. Alrighty, looks like we're ready at 260 degrees. So you're gonna remember to do this really carefully or not at all because you can really burn yourself on this 260 degree sugar here but you're gonna turn off the heat, you're gonna turn on your KitchenAid, and you are going to pick up your saucepan full of boiling sugar and very carefully pour it in as slow as you can and make sure as much of it gets in there as possible. A little spatula that's heat protectant, it can be very helpful. And now you're gonna beat it on high for about five to eight minutes until the candy loses its gloss and starts to hold its shape. When it starts looking like marshmallow fluff, it is not nearly ready. Keep mixing. This is what you're looking for. It's time to take that out of the KitchenAid. You're gonna need to act fast so your candy does not set in your KitchenAid bowl, but you're gonna add your nuts and your vanilla and you are gonna mix it in. I'm classing it up a little bit with a vanilla paste, but it doesn't want to come out of my bowl, so I have to scoop it, which is taking a minute. Normal vanilla will fall right out. Now it's time to mix, mix, mix. Once you're mixed thoroughly, or at least as mixed as you want to be, you're going to grab your two spoons right there. You're going to scoop with one spoon and get a big enough size to make a little puff and then you are going to scrape with the other spoon so it falls onto your silicon mat. This candy is not super hot by this time, but it's super sticky, 
and you want to do this very quickly so that it doesn't firm up and become unworkable in this time. So I'm going to speed this up and I will see you in a minute. And ta-da, the finished divinity. All you need to do is let these set until they have hardened and then they are ready to serve at your parties or gift to your friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please let me know what you think that I should make next and I will see you next time. Thank you.